Edward Mybridge. In the grand pantheon of photographic innovators, Edward Mybridge emerges as a time-traveling luminary whose lens-focused exploits resonate through the corridors of history. Born in 1830 on the British Isles, and later transplanting himself to the American terrain in the 1850s, Mybridge stands as a photographic trailblazer whose reverberations extend across the eons. This treatise delves into the Mybridge and Odyssey, a saga marked by the seismic ripples he unleashed on the stagnant pond of motion photography. His indomitable spirit in capturing movement birthed a paradigm shift, etching an indelible narrative across scientific, artistic, and cinematic landscapes. Mybridge's initial sojourns into the visual realm were anchored in the fertile grounds of landscape photography, a precursor to the groundbreaking endeavors that lay ahead. The pivotal moment in his career materialized in 1872 when Leland Stanford, a Californian potentate draped in the dual cloaks of former governor and racehorse proprietor, beckoned Mybridge to the center stage. The task at hand settled the age-old dispute on whether a galloping horse's hooves ever truly parted ways with terra firma. This wasn't just a commission but the pivotal plot twist in Mybridge's photographic narrative. To unravel the equine mystery, Mybridge unfurled a novel gambit. Aligning a cohort of cameras along a racetrack, triggered by the mystical dance of a trip wire, he embarked on a journey to capture the elusive cadence of a galloping steed. The resulting cascade of images, a stroboscopic revelation, confirmed that all four hooves soared aloft at some juncture during the equine ballet. The implications of this photographic coup were profound, it was the maiden instance of motion encapsulated within a series of still frames, an epochal moment with ripples that traversed the dimensions of time. Mybridge's lens, now baptized in the transcendental waters of motion, continued its voracious gaze. From humans to animals, and even the industrial behemoths on iron rails, his camera lens became an omniscient spectator to life in perpetual flux. Yet, his ingenuity in projecting these frozen moments in rapid succession birthed the cinematic embryo. The embryo, now grown, evolved into the motion picture projector, heralding the dawn of a cinematic era that would redefine entertainment and communication. Beyond the celluloid realm, Mybridge's impact radiated into scientific and artistic orbits. Scientists, athletes, and artists found themselves entangled in the web of his motion studies. His meticulous documentation metamorphosed into practical applications in sports science and biomechanics, while artists such as Dega, Lunch, and Picasso sipped from the wellspring of his visual musings, contributing brushstrokes to the tapestry of modern art. As we tread the labyrinth of Mybridge's legacy, shafts of light illuminate both positive and negative facets. Scientific advancement, artistic enlightenment, and technological wizardry embellish the positive tapestry. His lens, however, was not without ethical shadows, with the use of trip wires and triggering cameras casting a spectral hue upon his methods. In the mosaic of today's landscape, Mybridge's legacy persists as a vital compass needle pointing toward the historical origins of motion photography. His echoes resonate in the clicks of contemporary shutters and the whirs of modern projectors. And yet, the ethical quandaries woven into his narrative serve as provocations, beckoning us to ponder the nexus of technology, art, and ethics in our own digital epoch. In the final frame, Edward Mybridge emerges not merely as a photographer, but as an architect of temporal perception. His legacy isn't confined to the annals of history, it breathes, pulsates, and challenges us to frame our own narratives amid the relentless march of time. So, you've subjected yourself to a portion of the RPTM podcast. We're aiming for a perfect balance here, we hope we triggered some reluctant chuckles, but even more importantly, we hope we've left you questioning the very purpose of existence. And if, by some cosmic accident, you actually found this clip to be somewhat intriguing, summon that oh-so-enthusiastic thumb and bestow upon us the coveted upward gesture. And hey! Don't neglect that subscribe button either, because who would want to miss out on our impending onslaught of mind-bending dialogues?